I'm gonna start with, yes, I know my voice does not sound very lovely right now. Um, I have a bit of a sinus infection going on, which is not very fun to deal with, but I really wanted to get this video up and filmed and all of that before I get crazy busy, because I have a bunch of like show choir competitions and jazz festivals and then a vacation coming up. So I literally will not have any free time until like the end of March. But regardless, I really wanted to make this video because in my day-to-day -day life, I get a ton of compliments on my hair, and I just generally like the way that I do my hair. And the process that I use is actually really quick, and I can even get it to last like a fairly long period of time, which is super helpful for a person like me who's busy. And there's days that I literally do not have the time to like wash my hair because I get home at like 10 at night, and like if I take a shower and let my hair dry, and then have to do everything again in the morning, it's just too much. I'm able to kind of keep it looking nice with just using a variety of tricks and different hairstyles, which is something I'll get into later. But let's start with how I initially start styling it. Okay, so first off, you got my just regular bed head hair. Usually in the mornings, I'll brush through my hair. That's actually my first step of styling it, you know, like most people. I have really straight hair, as you can tell. So even when I have crazy bed head, my hair looks fine. I mean, the only things that you can really tell that are kind of looking a little weird is my hair part. First things first, I brush through my hair. I make sure there's no tangles, which is always good uh, right before you curl hair because any knots can just be things that like the flat iron catches onto. And that can hurt if it's like if you're like ripping it through your hair or it just kind of makes the curls look a little bit off. There's a whole thing with heat damage. Truth be told, I don't use heat protectant and that's because I'm lazy, but you guys should definitely use heat protectant. Okay, so once I brush out my hair, there is an optional step I have before I start curling my hair, and that is kind of splitting my hair into sections. I have not only really straight hair, but also very thin hair. So I typically don't need to section my hair off in order to get all of my hair into those nice curls. I can just like start curling strand by strand. But when I do have the time, and if I want my hair to kind of be a little bit more bouncy and voluminous, I will section my hair off. I just do half and half. So I have half down and then I usually clip up this front half with like a little claw clip just to make it easy. This isn't like a necessary step for me. If you have thicker hair than I do, or if your hair is kind of like less straight, it might be more manageable for you to separate it into sections. I use a flat iron for my curls. I just think flat iron curls look better just because they're kind of like a mix of like waves and curls and like solid coily curls do not look good on me like I have tried the nutcracker curls if you don't know what that is um search it up it's a ballet thing uh I like them they look really nice and they look great on other people but just those coily giant iron curls do not look good on me so I like flat iron curls and this is just um a very old flat iron that I actually took from my cousin. Uh, thank you to my cousin for letting me keep this. Um, it's one of the standard sized flat iron sizes. I mean, there's some that are like bigger, some that have like more of a rounded barrel, which are definitely really helpful when you're doing, you know, curls like this. They're not necessary. All right, I'm gonna start by showing you guys what the curls that I will be doing kind of look like. As you can see, they're really like wide and they're very wavy. And I like that. And this is, you know, what looks best on me. So I just do my whole head with uh, waves like that. This isn't really a tutorial on how to do flat iron uh, curls. I'll probably find some time in the future to make a video like that. But for now, uh, this is just kind of how I generally style it. The general motion of doing flat iron curls is kind of twisting the iron. So if you're depending on what direction you want the curl to go, whoop, almost dropped that, you're gonna be clamping down and then twisting with your wrists. Or if you want it to go the other direction, you'll clamp down and twist backwards. So I pretty much just clamp. I try to keep it as close to my scalp as I can without, you know, burning myself. And I just 
keep it twisted. I keep twisting as I pull, which is not something everybody does, but I like to just because I feel like that gives me loose waist up top and then just a nice tight coil at the bottom. And it really catches all of those like pieces at the end. And as you can see, like I hold the iron super vertically. I just feel like that looks best. So, <laughs> and sometimes, you know, I have a crazy straight strand. I like to just go back. I don't, I'm not one of those people that really loves the look of like straight ended curls. Some people are, it's like a whole thing. What is it, Utah curls? Not my thing, that is for sure. Now, once I get to the front, I always make sure to curl away from my face, regardless of if I sectioned my hair or not, it's always gonna be curled away from my face. For one, if it curls in, it's very annoying. And two, it just frames my face a lot better. And this, I do, I make sure to do really loose waves up top. That way, my hair from the bottom has the nice curls, but up top, it's not like a super giant curl where my baby hairs get in the way. Because I have a lot of like thin baby hairs like this. When they're curled too tightly, they tend to annoy me. So especially at the top, I do nice loose waves. Now I'll be doing that on the other side of my hair. Now, I know I have really dark hair and this is literally a dark sweatshirt, but you can still see, you know, some of the curls. As you can see, they're nice and big and loose. This is the bottom section. Um, not my best round of curling ever, but that's okay. I'm honestly just going to be going to sleep after this, so I'm not, not too upset about how they're looking. This is this first bottom layer and I'm going to take out the top, throw all of these curls to the back. Otherwise, I literally get lost in the amount of hair that's going on. So I take this top section, split it into its places. Whoop. Or maybe it doesn't want to split into a place. That's that's also a thing, I guess. And then I usually brush it out again so that's nice and smooth before I start curling this top section. But I literally do the same thing up in this top section as I do on the bottom. Now, I'm not going to talk too much for this next part just because I literally have to lean my head forward and it's a very awkward angle. But I'm just going to start at the back, throwing each curl to the back. Once I finish it, and then once we get to the front, again, I'll be curling away from my face. So the way that I like curl my hair, I usually alternate the direction that I actually twist my hair. So I'm like twisting my hair kind of more towards like, I'm basically twisting it in front. And that means the next curl that I do, so this one, I'm going to be twisting it in towards my face this way. That means the curl after this one will be twisted again away from my face. And luckily, this is, you know, the last strand. I actually don't count these little bang things as part of my hair so i'm just going to be twisting this away from my face now the way that i do the very front strands like these kind of curly looking things i make sure to curl them away from my face and straight down and i have it be like this super loose wave otherwise it just like curls into my face and it's very very annoying so when i curl my hair i go away and then all the way straight down very, very slowly twisting. And that way it has this, yeah, nice, loose wave going on. And here's a, I'll adjust it so it looks a little nicer, but that's how I do the front straight. I have completely finished curling my hair. Like I said, it really doesn't take that much uh, time to do it all. Could be that I have straight hair, could be that I have thin hair, but honestly, with this kind of wave, you can totally have like way bigger sections. And when your iron is hot enough, it doesn't take much time at all. Right now, it's just kind of like solid clumps of curls. So what I like to do is kind of start to brush them out, starting with just the beginning, these like front chunks. I don't know why I just said beginning. But I'm gonna start with these front areas, kind of toss my hair out. That way it's more like waves and like curls without like a specific curl pattern, because that's kind of the thing that always looks off about 
like nutcracker curls or iron curls on me whenever there's just like this solid pattern of curl going on and you can kind of look at it and be like girl what, what the fuck that looks weird so i'm just kind of tossing it out that way you can see i'm breaking up all of these curl patterns and just making it nice and loose now i have kind of broken up the curls to a degree which i like and the final step for me is not hairspray actually i use leave-in conditioner to kind of maintain and kind of keep out the frizz just because well one i like my leave-in conditioner it kind of keeps my hair like less fried i feel like because like i said i don't actually use heat protectant but you guys definitely should my hair has just been through all of it but this can kind of keep down the frizz as well as weigh down any like overly giant clumps of curls that kind of looks off. I mean, hair oil also really helps in this situation, especially that helps make it look nice and shiny. But overall, yeah, this is literally how I style my hair pretty much every day I can. Now, because these curls tend to last me a really long time, I can get away with uh, wearing my hair down the following day just because it ends up looking like just really pretty loose beach waves. Um, sometimes I tie it up the, during the night, sometimes I don't. Either way, it doesn't really matter. It just has like the nice beach wavy look. I'll run my hands through them just a little bit to like get rid of big knots, but I don't like fully brush my hair through just because when it's curly, it's okay if there's some tangles. Nobody would know. If I have to wear my hair like for a third day, I'll usually throw it up in a ponytail because by then it really will have fallen. But when you wear it in a ponytail, like it just looks perfectly curly. I don't know why, but that's just how my hair works. The ends stay curly and the top part does not. So when I have to wear it for an extended long period of time, I'll throw it on a bun, put it in a ponytail, use like a claw clip hairstyle. I'll do something like that. Sometimes I'll even throw it in like a really quick French braid. That way, like it kind of looks like wavy and curly, but there's enough going on. You wouldn't know that like half of my hair is straight again. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope that this was mildly helpful and kind of keeps you from being too intimidated with doing something like flat iron curls. It's not that hard. I'm just really bad at teaching it, which is why this wasn't a full tutorial on how to do that. But hopefully sometime I will get better at teaching and I can teach you guys how to do flat iron curls. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.